Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Style Crypt. I am your host, Asia the Bird. Today, I am with my very lovely co-host, Victoria Stafford, aka the High Fashion Fan. We are going to be reviewing up-and-coming Black designers, um, Kevon Hall and Bishmi Kramarty. And so we are here. So how are you, Victoria? I'm good. I'm excited. I'm always excited about new talent. So I'm completely blind reacting. So I'm excited to see what we what we see here tonight. All right, cool, cool. So we, we're going to be reviewing these two fashion shows, these two black designers, giving our thoughts, and we'll go from there. So here we go and stay tuned. All right, you guys. So the very first designer that we're going to be doing is Kevon Hall. And here we go. So this is fall 2023. Wow, it's a full house. Okay. Yeah, it looks really good. Wow. It's a lot of people in here. <laughs> yeah. I like the venue because it, it seems more intimate. Yeah. It's not like it kind of. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was going to say it kind of reminds me of like Margiela in the 90s when he first started out. Mm -hmm. Just like tight spaces. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, especially when you look at like, you know, with YSL and some of those other fashion shows, like, you know, back in the day, like in the, you know, in the 80s, 70s, like they had more of those intimate, um, you know, showcases in, in terms of fashion shows. Yeah. Well, this is a lovely look. I like the striping of it. Yeah, the striping detail. Ooh, on that too. Yeah, it's yeah, very that's innovative. Gorgeous. Yeah, I like it's a play with like, you know, just the striping, you know, pattern, the striping material. Mm -hmm. mm, probably not my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like the coat. Is I think it's, yeah, it looks like it's tweed, I think. Yeah, yeah, tweed. Yeah, that's a look like. A tweet type of material. Yeah, that's that's all right. It's like the the zipper placement is interesting. Oh, mm. nah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. The jacket and the skirt. That's a decent fall look, mm -hmm. especially with the stockings. Yeah, it's really really cool. Yeah, there again, it's a tweet pattern. I like the tweet pattern in black better than it is with white. Yeah. Yeah, the white, not so much a fan of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the black really helps the colors of, like, the tweet come out more. I like the fur jacket. That's fly. I love, 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 love. This is, this is very opulent. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, exactly. Okay, I would like to see this this print up close. I wonder um, if it's something that he worked on himself. It looks interesting. Yeah, it does look interesting. It got it kind of gives like a confetti type of pattern. Yeah, confetti or fireworks. I was thinking too. Yeah, so he's playing with the um, like the firework confetti texture or like that splatter paint effect type yeah. of uh, fabric pattern. Okay, that, that dress we just saw was kind of nice too. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. The blue dress is, is really nice, very, very simple. Very simple. Ooh, okay. That's cool. I like the asymmetry on that, it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, same, I like the asymmetry, but also like the shiny fabric. Yeah. You know, so I like how he's really getting into playing with like silhouette and, and shape. And it's so interesting yeah. because She's wearing green like I'm wearing green today. So, <laughs> so we can we can see that he is not afraid of color, which is nice. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely. Oh, I actually don't mind that that little bow on the side. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, all. yeah, that looks cool. I haven't seen anything like that, so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the flower pattern dress. That's really really yeah. nice. I think one thing to push some of the garments further is maybe just, you know, more of the wow factor to a certain extent. And yeah. 
agree. You know, like maybe like some aspects like a, like, you know, with hardware a little bit or something like that or, you know, more play of the asymmetry. Yeah, I agree for sure. Um, I think it is it is lacking in cohesion, but mm-hmm. um, I'm assuming this might be either his first runway show in the public or maybe among the first. So um, it might be he might be trying to just find his footing because it may it doesn't seem totally cohesive. Right. It's kind of like it seems like a couple different shows in one. But that's yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of good looks in here. Yeah, I think it's a it's a thing like how you said is essentially trying to find his lane in a way yeah. of like like his niche in in terms of fashion. Yeah. So. Yeah, and and I think that's that's like with a lot of people's first shows, like you know, yeah. you're it's more experimental until you get more into you know this is the style I like to do as far as my fashion. Yeah. So. Absolutely. And that's no different with art. Like you look at different artists or you experiment until you find what works for you in terms of your art style and things like that. You know, whether it's in being an illustrator, fashion designer, animator, sequential artist, whatever it is. So, so understandable that he's being experimental. Yeah, I agree. That's a nice pink fur coat. Yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed with the fur. Yeah, the fur coats are everything. So we can definitely see that his style seems to be a little more um, like evening, mm-hmm. evening slash cocktail occasion, that type of uh, uh, that type of niche. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, very evening, sophisticated, very elegant and classy. Yeah, very sophisticated. I like that suit. That suit is pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. It has those little sparkles in it. Oh, yes. Come on. (laughs) Yeah, I love it. Mm, I like the back. I love the back. Yeah, this one is very, very simple. It kind of gives you like Victorian England vibes. With the sleeves, very Victorian. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, he has a lot of pieces that are sellable for sure. Yes, Mm, absolutely. Yeah, very sellable, commercial. Mm-hmm. That's not my favorite dress, but I can see a lot of women wearing that dress, buying that dress and wearing it to like a gala or something in the community. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. Oh, that's a nice red dress. Yeah. I, I like how the cuts are subtle. It's not like too yeah. revealing. That's what I like too. They're just like they're like in the right places, not doing too much. Yeah, yeah. It is it, it has a sense of balance. Yeah. It definitely has a sense of balance in, in that particular dress. The aqua dress looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, Aqua is really trying to trying to get its foot in the door for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really seeing aqua aqua. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like how you said, you know, I'm really starting to notice that it's it's been a trend for like you know fall, winter, 2023, 2024. You know, yeah. the color of aqua. You know, so that's that's the common theme is aqua. Yeah, I'm just wondering because I don't know if I'm ready for aqua myself, like personally in my wardrobe. <laughs> Yeah, I think it just depends, like, how you dress the color aqua. Yeah. You know, and things like that, you know. So, and and sometimes it depends on also what shade of aqua. Yeah. You know, so that that's the thing. So, it's how how would you play with the color aqua? Like, you know, like, that's what that's like with the color green. Like, when we looked at Sergio Hudson's show with the different aspects of purple, like dark purple as the coat, and then, like, you know, a lighter um purple on the top and the pants is like a 
mid purple. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's him. Mm, Kevon Hall. Okay. Fall 2023. All right. So let's play it back and look at our favorite looks. The fur, I'm going to just tell you right now, the furs are my favorite. <laughs> Those yeah, are my try favorite. To get, let me get to the fur one. Yeah, I like the fur looks. Absolutely. I feel like those those are his heavy hitters, really. I mean, some yeah, of the yeah. dresses, too. The more longer dresses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one is a good look. The black fur and the black pants. Yeah, I again, I'm just going to go back to Dynasty. I could see that being worn on that show. It's very, like, rich vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rich upper class. Yeah. Elite. I'm telling you, I got this, you don't. Yeah. I don't associate <laughs> with the working class. Yeah, right. Exactly. I don't want no nine to five. <laughs> I like the tweed pattern within this dress. I like the splashes, like the blue and like the different aspects of pink. Yeah. It's definitely a unique um, pattern that I ha that I haven't really seen before or any similarities so yeah you could a, definitely print. Mm, you could definitely see up close it's like a tweed pattern very interesting let's get into the confetti paint splash fabric pattern <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to get into the whole silhouette. Yeah, I like the suit. The suit's really, really nice. The suit's okay for me. Mm -hmm. That I love. Oh, the dress, yeah. The but the dress. same pattern. I think maybe if there was like some sort of you know, design like at the bottom has like a skirt playing with like the, the folds and stuff, you know, or playing with the asymmetry of the dress. I think it would kind of pop more, maybe. I think I like it. I think I like it just as is. I think she just need maybe a little dainty jewelry. Other than that, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably just that, yeah. Yeah, this green oh, yeah. dress was nice. Yeah, that that one is good. Yeah, I just love like you know the silhouettes and the and the asymmetry and especially like with the creases and like it gives like movement in different directions. So that's really really yeah, cool. Yeah. Plus the um, sparkles of like crystals and stuff like that, the embroidery. Yeah, it, I think it's well balanced and it's like pushing. Um, the silhouette, but not to the point where it's just like too much going on. Like he has a combination of different things there and it, they all balance out well. Yeah, right. Absolutely. What's another dress? Where is that one dress with like the cuts and stuff? Because that was a well balanced. That one. I love that look. I love that with the, with the gloves. Yeah, the gloves like and the fur. Yeah, yeah, I love that. You did like that. that. You did that, Kev Kevon. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. It's like this wine color. Mm-hmm. Very rich. I really, I like this dress, actually. Yeah, I like the, do. there again, it's like the a wine burgundy type of color. So... That, that's a really nice silhouette. I just thought about who would be perfect. This dress would have been perfect. I don't know if you ever watched the um, the Cinderella movie that came out, I think it was in 2015. It was like the live action Cinderella. Um, the, the evil stepmom. <laughs> she has some looks. 
She <laughs> had some looks. Man, she was man, she was dressed down. This dress on her, mm -hmm. she would eat that. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the Cinderella uh, movie. Lots of good fashion. They did that. Let me see. Where's that other dress that we liked? It had, you know, it had very good balance. I'm trying to find that one. Hold on. I probably went past it. It had a very good aspect of balance with, like, the cuts and stuff. I can't find it. Well, let's look at another fur look. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this jumpsuit easily can go on Macy's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, that dress can too. Yeah. Very formal. Yep, very formal. Let me see. There's like a suit. I like this suit. Very yeah, nice. This suit is nice. I love like the sparkle, especially with the black. Yeah. I think it's uh just the right amount of detail on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you like this dress. I do, yeah. It's just it's it's simple, but it's also very elegant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. But I like how there's like a train in the back. Mm hmm I kinda wish we saw the back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bow or, I mean, more likely it's a bow. Yeah, that's what it looks like, a bow. They had just a little pop of color, which I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the dress. I was Yeah, to, okay. Yeah, I was trying to find it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the dress. I just like how it's just a sense of balance there. Yeah, you that's know, I, that's a bestseller. Yeah, yeah, because you know the the V, this like the chest part, the V line is not too low. You got the cuts that subtle. You have to slip that subtle. Mm -hmm. So you know, I like that with, with those subtleties. It don't have to be overkill. You know, yeah. so those those cuts, you know, or the especially the slip with the on the on the chest area, you know, the bust area. It gives that sense of balance. It gives balance, definitely. So yeah. it's a well-balanced dress. I agree. A thousand percent. That's a gorgeous dress. Mm -hmm. All right. So as far as this show, how would you rate it in terms of out of 10? Out of 10? Yeah. I would say it's about a 7 out of 10. Mm, agreed. I think like, you know, the reason being, I think for me is just that, you know, there there are some good looks. I like how, I think his niche is really more, like how we said, elegant, sophisticated, classy. You know, yeah. you look at Ellie Saab or, El Saab or Z Zuhair Murad, like they're very elegant mm -hmm. um, with their gowns and dresses and embroidery. You know, I think that's really his lane, it seems like. So yeah. um, even if that's the case, I think that some of the elegant looks could be pushed a bit more, give more of that wow factor. I love the fur coats. I ain't got no yeah. critique for that. But <laughs> just, some, just some some of the looks, some of the dresses, I would say, like, give it more of a wow factor. You know, so that's all I have to say with that. Yeah. Um, I do think some of the dresses, just some, were a little bit dated. Um, but mm. I think after see him come out he does seem like an older older gentleman so that kind of explains that and plus there's still a market for that so everything yeah. doesn't have to be super young super sexy um but i guess like some of those looks we like you said we could push him just a little bit further um like the asymm asymmetry with the skirt you know just details like that or 
of that nature, just really playing with it a little bit more. But other than that, I mean, I think it's it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Absolutely. All right, next designer we'll be looking at, next up-and-coming Black designer. His name is Bishmi Marty, and here we go. Ooh, that's really nice. Oh, it's like a dark green material. Okay. Interesting. I like the, interesting. Yeah, I like the embroidery of it. Yeah. Oh, and that's that's hot. I like that. The green jacket with the skirt and the top. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I like, right and I, playing with color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And also playing with like pattern too. So that's really, really cool. It it has like this tree pattern that, you know, that's that's really, really cool. And I like how like the models are wearing like the strapped heel. Yeah. That goes along with it. Okay. Not bad. Mm. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Okay. I like that. I like that so much. Yeah, I can't see anything. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't even give an accurate critique because I can't see. Okay, is it a way you could pull it up on your phone? Or try to watch it through your phone as I'm watching it. Let me see. Forward again. All right. All right. We are back and we are now reviewing Bishmi Cromarty's runway show. Now let's get into it. That's nice. I love the sequin detail on that. Yeah, me too. It's really, really good. Oh, I think that's a jacquard with see That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Woo. Okay. I like that. The jacket and, and the skirt and the top. You know, I love like the the, the textile pattern of like the mm -hmm. tree branches. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I really wonder did he um is this a fabric that he did himself? Mm -hmm. oh okay yeah that's nice a little experimentation yeah yeah i love that i love the top it's like a flower on top and i love the asymmetry on the skirt yeah i love i love this yeah it's gorgeous and i like that sagey dark moss green color mm Hmm. Yeah, very, very nice. It's a, uh, it's a cute look. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Man, her her boobs almost <laughs> out of there. That thing is like heartbeat level. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish the jacket part was a, was a slight bit long. It could still be a crop, but, you know. Yeah. I wish it didn't like show a reasonable that. crop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. That's a nice green gown. Yeah. I, I think like the top some, especially. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. And the thing is, like, with some of these looks, I'm noticing it looks like a green denim in yeah. a way. Okay, yeah, this is definitely denim. Yeah, yeah, I could tell with the inside. Playing with denim texture. Yeah, definitely yeah. denim, yeah. Okay, the lace in the back, the uh, corsetry, it's cute. Mm -hmm, it's really, really good. I 
I like how with the models they're wearing like the strap um heels so it kind of yeah. you know gives that that sexiness you know with the looks yeah mm -hmm. I feel like that yeah they definitely complement the looks well yeah yeah absolutely I feel like the strap heel is like the strap mules are like the trend as far as yeah shoes. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think the the extra fabric could, you know, I don't think that should be a part of the top. Yeah, that's that's a just just give me some scissors and I cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, the look is fine. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Now, I feel like this is where your crop should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. I'm not a big fan of the skirt, though. Yeah, the skirt is a little flat. Fl it has, like, the wobbly sides. Innovative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's different. It's just the cut is kind of weird as far as, like, yeah. and then the side is just hanging. It's, it's kind of awkward. So is this a denim, denim gown? It's a denim gown. That's a nice gown. I mean, yeah, that's that's that, it's hard to achieve. I feel like it's it's hard to achieve elegance with a denim gown, but I think that that was all right. Yeah, well, I like this the metallic silver. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, it feel like it has like a kind of a gold hint to it. Yeah, gold tint to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Mm, yeah, I don't know about this one. I like it. Maybe... But I don't think it's, you know, I think it's a good look. I don't know. It's a lot going on. Oh, and it's separate. Okay. Yeah, I think it could do. Yeah, I think it could do without maybe like the, the fabric that's wrapping around the shoulder. Yeah. But they're separate pieces. So I, I would wear them separately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not together. Same with that. I, I would wear. Mm hmm the jacket separately mm -hmm. yeah right exactly okay I knew this was coming A chrome gown metallic gown I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> Is it because of the, like, just the length or? I don't know yet. <laughs> I think that would truly really have me, like, perplexed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. We're seeing variations of this particular uh, look in different fabrics. Yeah, cool. yeah. And in different colors. Yeah. You can get it in metallic silver. You can get it in black. You can get it in green. Yeah. <laughs> Which one you want. You can have all three of them. <laughs> I like the skirt. Yeah, the skirt's really, really interesting. Yeah. I like how it has like a zipper. It. Yeah. But then, it. but then like with the, the zipper, like what does that do? Does, does that, do you cut that off? And it makes it. Oh yeah, it makes it. Okay, I see it. It makes a short, short mini skirt. Mhm. Mm Which I like. I like that it's not just decorative. Mhm. Mm hmm. I don't know. I feel like that dress has potential. I think the craftsmanship on it seems a little wobbly. Yeah, slight bit. I think the dress could have been better. It's kind of. 
I know like it's it's supposed to play with asymmetry, but I think it could have been better. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I like the cool hoodie. Mm -hmm. I like that he combines streetwear elements with um, a little, brings a little bit more elegance to it. I love right. that. I yeah, that. that's gorgeous. I like that. Oh, with the pants? That's nice. Yeah. Only thing is, <laughs> the zipper I wouldn't I wouldn't have done the zipper on the pants mm -hmm. I would have just did a plain black straight leg pant with this beautiful tool look love it mm -hmm. I think I kind of don't mind it really yeah. that's that is in my in my perspective oh yeah I see the um the zipper in the is the zipper in the back oh on the front of the pants legs they were on the oh, front oh the front okay Yeah, I gotta see it again when we play it back. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I like that. I feel like I feel like I saw this dress on the red carpet. Really? I feel like Carisha wore this. Oh, you're talking about, uh, yeah, Young Miami? Yeah. It kind of looks like similar to what she was wearing. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go him if he was able, you know, to get his stuff on the red carpet. Yeah, oh, right, it may be exactly. similar. It's not exactly uh, the same. Okay, I think it's similar. Yeah, yeah, right. But she would wear it. She would mm -hmm. absolutely wear it. It's see-through. It's revealing. Mm -hmm. and it's probably expensive, so she would wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can agree. I can see that. Yeah. I can see Cardi B wearing it or Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Something like that, you know, you know, um, those those uh, rappers or, or Saweetie. Yes, yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think he really tried to push himself with the denim. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like the the common thing with this um, fashion show is like tool. Um, you know, definitely denim, metallic material, um, textile pattern, a little bit of embroidery. Um, so it's like color palette is like green, black, metallic, silver, um, and, and black. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's pretty much the theme of this runway show. This is a good show. I would say this is like an 8 out of 10. Very good looks. I'm gonna I'm put it at a I'm gonna put it at a six point five. Why? Sorry. <laughs> oh. um, I would say the craftsmanship needs a little bit of work. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like some of the denim silhouettes were kind of forced. Um, I didn't enjoy the chrome section so much, even though it mm -hmm. wasn't necessarily that it was chrome. I think it was just the way it was done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's just how I, I would say. It. But I know Bishmi's very talented. I've seen him on Project Runway. He can he can he can do some looks. So <laughs> this is just the beginning for him. Mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely, most definitely, I agree. Yeah, certain looks could be better as far as craftsmanship, but I think to me overall, it was a very good show. It, it's a lot of very great sellable looks. You know, very yeah, yeah. very much like how you were saying, more so into the streetwear. So I like I like that whole I like the collection of you know especially where he was going with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's definitely very very talented. So I'm excited for just to see how he, he how he grows and how his brand grows and yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, totally. I I can't wait to see what he's going to do. You yeah. know. It's up from here.
<laughs> it's up from here. <laughs> Record. All right, so what we're now gonna do is look back and check out our favorite looks. trying to remember <laughs> this it had was to be a full like, collection it was a full collection for sure yeah yeah definitely i think it had to be like 40 or 50 looks or something like that yeah somewhere around there i do like this um this look with the skirt the top and the jacket is very very nice yeah i like the aspects of green like dark green a lighter pale forest green the the pattern uh, the tree trunk pattern yeah you can see that with the, the way he the way he did this fabric was definitely um a hit for him i think mm. very innovative yeah agreed oh okay now i know what my favorite look was it's this one it's yeah, the, yeah okay let's check out this one yeah this one was really really good too i like the asymmetry of the skirt yeah i love it i adore yeah. this look <laughs> yeah i like the pocket you know the cargo pocket in the skirt as well it's Very like a nice. good balance of like day wear meets street wear i love it yeah that's really really nice And the color too. I'm obsessed with that color, by the way. Yeah, I think you will rock that look. I think you will rock it. Thank you. I can see myself where I, I will buy this from him. I really would. I would have. I would have some custom custom make it for my body, for real. Yeah, I would really. I would get the the pants. Probably in every color. <laughs> the <high laughs> pants. Yeah. I like the pants for sure. Yeah, I just love like the you know the zipper and then like the cargo style pants especially with that like the cargo style pants that's in right now mm -hmm. you know the khaki the cargo pants the khaki and black and different color cargo pants cargo yeah, top still y2k kind of creep back mm. <laughs> Let me see. What's another look I really liked? I like this look. The metallic look, it gives that futuristic vibe to me. Yeah, it's definitely futuristic. Yeah, very futuristic. Very cool. Futuristic, like hip hop. Yeah. I think with this, this is a, a a nice dress, but maybe you know it could be you know if this this the shoulder part wasn't there, it you know I think it would it, it would be good. I don't know. I don't think so. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I feel like even if you remove that, I, mm, I don't know. I feel like with this particular fabric, it's probably best to like let it be the statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I guess it's separate. So I think maybe the top does the good on its own. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. It's two pieces. It's not one dress. I thought it was one dress. <laughs> It looks like it from the front. It definitely does. Yeah, yeah. I wish it was one dress. I think that would have been uh, more feasible. Would have been better. I think it's probably better separate. <laughs> because I'm thinking about it now. Um, I don't know. I think the top alone, maybe mm -hmm. with like light wash denim jeans. Yeah. Just the pant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could see that being a lot better. Mm-hmm. 
see. This look was interesting. You can adjust the the length however you want. Yeah. I thought it didn't make sense at first, but I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I would buy that. I would I would buy that, put that in my shopping cart and get that from him. I like that's this something look. you can wear every day. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's something you could wear every day. I like this look because I like the top with like the hoodie. Yeah. Very Grace Jones. Very, very Grace Jones. That's what the tool looks. This look right here. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely Young Miami would wear it. Oh yeah, she would wear that. <laughs> no question. No questions asked. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how the fabric just wraps around. Yeah. So I love that playing with shape and movement within the top part of the of the dress. Yeah. My only thing is that I'm just I'm kind of over the sheer. I've, I know I've said this like on my um <laughs> on my TikTok a lot. Like I'm just over this this sheer dress yeah. with the panties underneath. It's. But I mean, then like I said, this is um. This is a um, a more couture take on it, which I can appreciate. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting about this show? I just saw Christian Siriano in, in the crowd sitting. I don't oh. know if you noticed that. Oh, that's so sweet that he's there. Yeah, the designer. Yeah, because he was... Um, Cause he was a judge on Project Runway, so he's very yeah. familiar with Bishmi and his work. Mm, yeah, absolutely, most definitely. And he can design some clothes. His yeah. stuff, is him and Brandon Maxwell. Yeah, Christian Seriano sometimes is a hit or miss, but he's he can make dresses for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this first part was probably his best. The greens mm. with this tree yeah. print. Yeah, I like the green sector a lot better. Yeah. The green sector was a chef's kiss. And of course, in the end, you see Bishmi come out. Bishmi Kumari. His logo is very interesting. It gives like these, um, those elements, those like science you know, type of type of element, type of things like on a science chart. Yeah. You know, like oh for oxygen or something like that. H2O <laughs> yeah. like water or something like that. Yeah. I'm I'm really proud of him though. Like the fact that because a lot of the designers that come off the show struggle afterwards to like try to establish their brand and all of this stuff. But Bishman, he's been working hard. So I'm I'm proud of him that he was He's done made it on the New York Fashion Week calendar. That's great. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, his very well done. His work was very well done with this collection. Yeah. All right. Final thoughts. What do we think? Overall, I think um, I think both shows were really good. Very different. Mm -hmm. uh, very different identities. Very different um, niches. I think. Um, yeah, I think they both are establishing themselves in this particular space, trying to establish their brand identity, which is a good thing. It's good to yeah. just be discovering it, playing with things, playing with fabrics, trying to figure out what your customer likes, doesn't like. Um, I think mm -hmm. it's, so overall, I'm proud of both of them. So I know it's not easy to mm -hmm. get yourself out here and, and it takes money <laughs> to run mm -hmm. a brand. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them both. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I think both of them did very, very well. They had very, very good looks. Um, you know, of course, their collections could be pushed a bit further in different ways. Um, the collection I really gravitated towards more was Bishmi. 
um because i like that streetwear vibe with like a combination of like elegance and evening to a certain extent you know yeah. i like you know with kevon halls it's more i mean even though it was like a thing with where it's experimental i think his niche is more so of the elegant aspect of things so i like how it got to more of the elegant looks but i think with this me um for me i think i like his collection better yeah absolutely um I, li I feel like I like them both the same for mm -hmm. what they are presenting and how they're different. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that. Uh, <laughs> I usually tend to like one more than the other, but I think I like them both the same. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Victoria, for jumping on. Um, I really enjoyed reviewing um, Bishmi and Kevon Hall's um, runway shows. Um, definitely, you know, like how we said, you know, they could be pushed a bit further. So, you know, thank you so much. And until next time. Until next time. Thank all you. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bells for notifications. Also follow me on social media platforms and be on the lookout for more interviews involving fashion, style, and fashion history. Take care and stay stylish. Bye-bye.